what is going on? Angus Beef here. I hope you're having a kick-ass day so far and that you're hashtag blessed and loving it. Um, I want to touch on something in this video today for you guys and um, kudos to you for clicking on the video if you're watching. Um, and that is that any trending diet or conventional diet that's um, accessible from just doing a basic Google search or YouTube search or the sort of stuff that you see flashing up on your news feeds in terms of just, yeah, like... <laughs> I see all sorts of crazy stuff in terms of what's trending as well. Like any of these sort of diets, um, understand that if you apply yourself well enough to them and um, obviously live out the associated rules that come with most of these, right? Um, any of them can and likely will lead to initial weight loss, right? That's a given. Pretty much any single one of them will lead to some initial wins on that front, right? But the thing is that this does not mean that the diet is healthy um, or that it's sustainable for long-term positive benefit. So in other words, like they are meant for exactly that, that short-term, um, and by short-term I mean like anything that's less than say two or three months, right? Like they are meant for these sort of short-term grinds, yeah, to yield that drop in weight. So for, Obviously, if you need to drop weight for any specific specific event, well, then it's great for this sort of thing, right? But where the false persona is, is that we um, often do these things uh, expecting that it's going to be an asset to us and help us in terms of a long-term lifestyle, right? Which is obviously just like fantasy. It's not going to be the case, right? Because if you, if you think about it, right, the question that you should be asking yourself isn't whether you know you necessarily want to do keto or you want to do the 5-2 or if you want to do like it's not whether you you shouldn't be asking yourself whether you want to do said diet the question that you should be asking yourself is how long can you see yourself realistically handle sticking to whatever it is and at what cost are you prepared to stick to it because that's the thing all of these you'll find will have varying depths of, well, sacrifice involved with them, right? Most of the time you'll find that the ones that are most trending are the ones that require the most sacrifice, which is why they produce the quickest results. And to be honest, that's my greatest competition, like all these sort of quick fix things, because when I work with someone, yeah, like <laughs> I don't have them dropping multiple kilos per week and it's actually usually a while of working together before we can even actually focus on any sort of fat loss whatsoever because there's so much health restoration work to do first, right? So um, yeah, consider that in terms of just a realistic question to ask yourself because if you can't see yourself, um, you know, sticking to the required restriction of whatever diet it is you're considering doing, well then what's the point in sticking to it? Because you and I both know that what's gonna happen once you are on it is that once the initial honeymoon has finished where it's just like it's all exciting and new at the start and you're like yes i'm on board like this wagon is great but then reality kicks in in terms of you not being happy with the all the restriction and rules that you've got to stick to obviously this is where someone usually more often than not will become a bit of a ticking time bomb in terms of where they're gonna just kind of seek that pleasure and release in terms of well yeah usually this is where someone just goes back to what they're doing before right so um, yeah, I challenge you to look at things in this sort of way that I've just shared. And um, you know, like obviously the approach should be whatever it is that you're choosing to do in terms of meeting your goals, it should have the least amount of associated restriction and um, sacrifice involved with it. And this is why when I'm working with people, our goal is to make things as flexible and enjoyable as possible so that, that way it's sustainable in getting them to where they wanna be and maintenance is even easier. So if you have any questions around this, let us know in the comments below. And um, if you're keen to hear how I coach people to master this sort of stuff and do the journey with them, get in touch and let us know. And um, if you're keen to get yourself some of this um, six sort of threads, this is the July promo running at the moment. You can check out fckdietingapparel.com. But thanks for watching, Legend. Big love. And I'll um, yeah see you next time.